Welcome. In this video, we'll be talking about how to design a logic model using SOPEC uh, GPT for impact and sustainability. It's a powerful tool that can be combined with a power of data analytics and impact analytics that we have built, SOPEC Sense. And within a very, very short period of time, you can become a data driven and also storytellers altogether. So within five to seven minutes, I'll walk you through a real practical example of any, any organizations and you can build that process. And ultimately you can also improve and show the uh, logic model on your websites as well as the, the improved um, messaging. Um, and that could be your 30 second pitch deck. So it's a power that you will see in a very short period of time. And I hope you will enjoy that. So to explain this process, I'll walk you through a logic model development process, which is either you need a well-developed uh, websites like Miller Center we have, which has its own sort of programs for entrepreneurship on how to really enable them uh, throughout the de uh, developing country and focusing on poverty and many other social enterprise issues. Uh, and Boys to Men, which is focusing on young adult uh, programs, essentially on bringing them back on the track altogether. And though I'm not going to go much into details, essentially the idea is to walk you through this, uh, the SOPEC co-pilot for impact and sustainability. It's pretty extensive, so but I'm gonna not gonna cover all of them. There's a series of separate videos and look out for it. So please like and subscribe this channel so that you can literally see every new updates altogether. And to get started, I'm gonna start only with one thing, which is strategy. There are many other topics we have, data analysis, reporting, Again, I recommend you to look at those separate videos for that. So what can you do with the uh, strategy? First thing first is to, you can design logic model from any program details. So let's just start with the logic model, which is number two or logic model you can type. This is like any other AI chatbot, you can really design uh, and be interactive with them. So, so as you can see on the screen, the key goal here is to come up with a 30 second, very crystal clear problem statement. Why? Because that is your foundation to how you can define your end-to-end -end model for logic model altogether. So it has a problem, target, audience, cause, impact, and solutions and stakeholders. As long as these five things are very clearly defined, you can develop any logic model you want. Now, to get started, I, I could really build this thing on my own. And especially if my website is not very well developed or is not very clear, not easy to understand, then uh, I can start by simply giving this problem statement. And I'll give you an example over here. You can look at that example and type it on yourself. Or you can take the video and then say, okay, wherever the program is and use that particular one. So I'm gonna give the website um, uh, URL and voila. Let's see what happens, what it does. And you can see it says based on the information, Miller's Center for Social Entrepreneurship website, here is the problem. Is the, and, and the problem is many social enterprises under, in underserved region struggle to achieve financial sustainability due to limited access to the mentorship, investment, and operational guidance. This is the results of constrained growth and the results, uh, which results in uh, impact potential for addressing crucial social and environmental issues. This is exactly what Miller Center does, by the way. We've been working with them for many years, so we, I know that for sure. And the primary ob ob stakeholders, obviously, are the state social enterprise in underserved. If I want, I can go and modify and say, because sometimes it may not be accurate, because especially when things are not very well documented, then it may have some confusion. So you can teach that. Uh, you can really go get back and say, no, this is exactly what I do. Because next step is gonna be based on the problem statement you designed. So I, I will just say, go and continue. I like it. And based on that, let's see what it does. So it, it can do many things now. Uh, now it can design a logic model, as you can see in a step-by-step -step manner with all the activities. Each activity is a stakeholders that is well-defined. Input, uh, outputs, activity, outcome, and the really, the key question is, do you want to modify any 
activities. And uh, in this case, activities that I have are uh, really a mentorship program for the learning program. And there are many activities that Miller Center could be doing. So I, I could ask to say, define more activities or I can give a specific activity as well. So it's a very interactive process. So this is reasonably well uh, accurate. Uh, now, if it is not, you can also create this uh, Google Docs out of this one, work with your team and work in your super sense after that to develop further model because then next step is to go to the data driven approach where you will be collecting data using survey tool and ultimately you will gonna use AI to summarize all your quality data, quantity data, time-based data and impact data in a short period of time so that I can start telling the story. And we have a separate videos on storytelling as well. So I can go here and start building uh, the model I can say now create me a table so I can do you want to uh, add any activities? No, uh, I'm, uh, I'm good. Uh, show me next. And I think what it's going to do now is to, it lets you play around with the different metrics process. It can, you can modify it. You can also ask to change this thing to um, uh, 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 public metrics as well, like iris and many other ones, and we have a separate video for that. Uh, and you build a table and uh, verify it, or you can say, well, I need to add more metrics. And that's how you do it. And then I, I can continue and say, okay, fine, uh, this looks good. Um, so let's create the entire table for all the activities. And I it can do that as well. Then it can do, uh, I can create Google Docs, as I said, and work with my team. And once it's finalized, I'm going to go to Supex Sense and we have a separate window on that, how to configure that properly. Uh, and I can create a website copy. So if something is not accurate, it's going to go and create that. I also have a ways to create a beautiful visual uh, where you can build a logic model as well. So I hope this process was useful. Like I said, if this is something interesting, keep subscribing to it so that you can like it. And uh, our goal is to essentially help you further the knowledge of how to building things. Like I said, what we described is step number one. We will ha we have an another video that talks about how to use this thing in an impact super sense, survey creation, data analytics, storytelling, dash dashboard, and communication. And if this is uh, a lot, that's okay. Our, our super team can really provide the, the all kind of support from building impact framework to data collection, to evaluation, to building storytelling reporting all together. Uh, so if you are in a crunch for fundraising in three months or so, uh, we are the best team to help you with it. By the way, uh, we have an amazing playlist. Um, I have described that in a YouTube video at the bottom. Please feel free to reach out to that and really uh, uh, play and uh, really see whether that really increases your understanding of the process. and. Last but not least, like and subscribe, and we are always here to help you. Thank you.